Number one has another massive decision to make, and that is who is going to fill the goalkeeper position heading into Watford. I'd really like to hear your guys' opinion on this, so let me know down in the comment section. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for all of my latest content. But this is a massive, massive decision for Paul Warren. We spoke earlier today about Erin Cashin and his uh, concussion protocol, and will he be back? For Watford and I'm under the impression that he probably won't be I think he'll have to miss out on this one but I do think he'll be back for Bristol City and the big question we have to ask is Zetterstrom or Josh Vickers now Josh Vickers played a worldie versus Middlesbrough and I said on the way to the game and if you haven't checked out my Twitter make sure you go over there and follow it'll be going across on the ticker down below because I, t I give my opinions and things like that and I said in a group chat that I'm in that Josh Vickers will have a masterclass, will win 1-0 against Middlesbrough. I said it about 9 o'clock in the morning. That is exactly what happened. Josh Vickers had a brilliant game, saved pretty much everything that came at him. Now, despite the deflected shot, which probably would have been a goal without the deflection, I think that's probably Vickers' best game in a Derby shirt. And I never really felt threatened by Middlesbrough. And when they got into the position... I knew Vickers would save it. He had an excellent, excellent game. But you've then got to look into the situation with Zetterstrom. And that is, we've signed him for nearly £1.5 million. And there's rumours that it could go up to £2.2 .2 million. And the question is, can you spend that money on a player and not play him? In Derby's position, I think the answer is no. But I think Paul Warren's got to make a stance on this. Now, I think the goalkeeper position is very different to every other position on the pitch. I think you can play an absolute blinder, but if you've bought in a number one, he has to be your number one. You have to make that stand from the start. And the question really is, if this was another position on the pitch, say you've got Kane Wilson in Niambi. Niambi plays a blinder one game, gets injured. Wilson comes in and is brilliant. Who do you then play in the next game? I would personally play Wilson because Wilson had the best game closest and the Ambi's been injured. But there's been no injury with Zetterstrom and it's just a case of his new. Now, I think it could be a situation where Vickers plays the next two into the international break to give Zetterstrom a chance to sort of get to know everybody and understand what the coaching staff are expecting of him heading into uh, a game as a goalkeeper. Obviously, Andy Warrington will be uh, drumming into him what he wants as a goalkeeper um, and what he wants the team to do. And for me, I think this is a massive decision. I think with your goalkeeper, you've got to play your best possible, whatever the, whatever the situation. Unless they're injured or suspended, your best possible goalkeeper has to play. Now, can I say that Jakub Zetterstrom is better than Josh Vickers? Now, I think there is a question mark around that. We've not seen Zetterstrom in a Derby County shirt yet. Obviously, we saw him at the weekend warming up and things like that. But we've not seen him in a competitive setting. And obviously, this is really what pre-season is for, to sort of set out who's going to be your number one, who's going to be your number two. And I think if Zetterstrom had signed when the first deal was immediately agreed... I think it would have been a different conversation right now. I think he would have been first choice because I think Vickers made some howlers in pre-season. But after this Middlesbrough game, you just can't make that decision. You can't sort of say Zetterstrom has to start because I think Vickers has done enough in that game to keep the shirt. And as Paul Warren said when he was talking about Tyrese Fauna, it's your shirt to lose. So... It is going to be really, really interesting to see how Paul Warren handles this one because I think you can instantly set a bad precedent. If you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Stay tuned to all of my latest EFL and Derby County content over the course of this season. Let me know your thoughts on Jakob Zetterstrom's situation. Do you think he's going to take that number one shirt straight away? Or do you think Paul Warren is going to keep Vickers between the sticks? Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll catch you in my next video. With your goalkeeper, if, if, if he drops Vickers after such a good performance, how is that going to look to other players in the squad? 
Now, I think a lot of players will look at it very differently. And in my personal opinion, as a player, when I was a player, when I played and things like that, we had a couple of keepers and there was always one keeper I felt more comfortable with than the other. He was better with the ball at his feet. He was better in between the sticks and he was more confident in commanding the back line. And now these are all things which Paul Warren is going to have to learn over the course of this week. And Obviously, we will be previewing the game in a couple of days. I think I mentioned that in my video about Aaron Cashin too. So make sure you are about with that subscribe button being clicked and the notification bell on to stay tuned for that because I'm going to give my predictions on who I think will start between the sticks. And it is going to be a difficult decision to make. I won't have heard from Paul Warren on the situation of Aaron Cashin. So he is going to be a big doubt for that game. And it's going to be interesting Will Zeta Strong be playing behind a back four? Will he be playing behind a back three? It's big decisions. Or will it be Vickers playing behind the back three or the back four? I think it's really interesting looking into this one because Zeta Strom's obviously been playing in European competitions. He's had massive praise from his former manager at Your Garden, where they've said he's the best Scandinavian keeper in the world right now. And they've said that there's a lot of people who think he should be the Swedish number one right now. And he's come to Derby County to try and earn that shirt. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can earn that shirt at Derby County. But he's certainly not going to earn it by sitting on the bench. And that's something which Paul Warren has got a huge decision to make. Who's going to make the decision though? Will it be Paul Warren? Will it be Andy Warrington? Will will it be Zeta Strom turning around and saying, I need to play football? Will it be Vickers saying, I deserve to keep the shirt? Now... It's a massive decision and for me it can probably be made on the flip of a coin. Now I don't see training, Paul Warren does and I think that's going to be the big selling point for this. If if Zetterstrom massively outperforms throughout training I think he'll get, the go he'll get the goalkeeper jersey. We know he's got the number one, we know that, we saw that at the weekend. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I think also when we're talking about Josh Vickers and there was a lot of times in that Middlesbrough game that I noticed myself where he's wincing in pain after making a save or uh, when he was picking up the ball and stuff and holding his back on occasions and that's something which also you have to assess because Vickers hasn't played consecutive games since January and was it January February when he stepped in for like three or four games and then got injured so it's one of those where as he picked up another injury because obviously you know keepers won't go down and be taken off that doesn't happen often unless it's a really really bad injury so it's one of those for me where Vickers could potentially be could be out of the game we don't know so uh, obviously we're gonna have to wait for Paul Warren's press conference I'm sure it's a question which Dom Dietrich or even Owen Bradley might add heading into that game and I do think it's a big question for Derby County. I think it's a big question that Zeta Strom's going to want answering and even Josh Vickers. So, But who is going to make the decision? Is it going to be Andy Warrington or is it going to be Paul Warren? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and I'll catch you in my next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekends.